birth of a star is not a subject of vivid discussion. It is a phenomenon one's got to observe and get lost in it. This stellar evolution is not a theory, but an epic instead. Such an epic is about to unfold today at ACA VDCA Stadium at Vishakhapatnam. The second match of the Pepsi Cup ODI series is about to begin. Two meteorites, India and Pakistan, are going to collide. And amidst this contention, a star is going to rise and shine. A huge crowd has gathered to see this power clash. The Indian boys are in no mood to disappoint them. India wins the toss and Saurav Gangli decides to bat first. Sehwag and Tendulkar are walking to the middle to do some serious damage to Pakistan's morale. Wow! This is one day cricket at its best. How's that for a six? How's that for an intent? Brilliant shot. to be closed, directed. That shot of the line, India lose their first wicket and just the kind of tonic Pakistan needed early on. In comes a ball of fire. A high voltage charge that packs enough power to evaporate whatever comes in its way. A thunderball too hot for Pakistan to handle. A name India believes in. A talent Team India trusts in. Mahendra Singh Dhoni. Can he take that uh, current run rate up even further? Well, he started off in blazing style. Six match series. He could lose the series. Well, he's in a deadly fall. Look at that throw. Razak introduced him to the attack. That's where Virendra Savak is so good. Psychological edge. It's not only Virendra Savak, it's Tony as well. And I think uh, the reason why he's been promoted into the batting order, Sanjay, for me is that uh, there is a Shahid Afridi element in this game. The result was good for Indian team. Picked up a boundary. And second of the over. They are going at the rate of knocks. Great start by the Indian team. The 
this is Hilton Pakistan. Shahid Afridi, just the one over, 12 runs. A very important one for me is the bat come down very straight with both Sehwag and Dhoni. After 13 overs, India's scorecard reads 118 for 1. Sehwag batting on 70. Dhoni proving his mettle. Mercury is rising and India is yet to fire on all its engines. The score is 118 for 1. Sehwag going stable at 70 while Dhoni gaining a stronghold at 35. The game is getting more interesting by the minute. Salman Butt who takes a good catch under pressure. In walks Kipa Gangali to repair the damage. So is the whole of India. In to join hands with tomorrow's star. Rahul Javed was aware of that. We could be in for a real uh, tracking contest.
responsibility. 163 for three. Anything over 300 runs, it's going to be a fighting total. Keep one thing in your mind that Shahid Afridi is going to open for Pakistan. Pakistan has bowled 26 overs. India have scored 181 runs. So far, they've lost three wickets. But Dhoni and Dravid have now got a strong hold in this game. India has high hopes, especially from the young chap Dhoni who has scored 75 runs. Damage with the bat. through the crowd, it's very difficult to side, especially if it's dipping. Set to go past 300. Just 19 overs to go, and with the kind of depth that uh, India has. There goes Zoni with a single to complete his maiden 100. With this, he becomes a second Indian wicketkeeper to score a century. And guess what? The first one is right there by his side to cheer him. Team India must be really proud of his decision to send Zoni to bat early today.
swing caution to the wings now. Goni. He's in that state of mind. It's hot, humid. He's giving himself room, clearing that front leg and uh, finding the gap on the outside. He has decided, okay, I haven't got the energy to run singles and doubles. I'm going to go and hit the boundaries. Another one. But this time, he'll find the fieldsman. I think he's reacting well to the situation. We were mentioning this is the time he should be looking to pick up boundaries and uh, try and pad out the Pakistanis out of this game. mentioned earlier, he's responded uh, magnificently. Tony is playing so well. Stumbling went down. It was all or nothing uh, now with Tony. Two sixes in the over. So this is adding insult to injury. And let off of the first delivery. Now two hits from a, the maximum. Not an easy stroke to execute, especially against the leg spinner. Khan much slower and almost a teasing off spinner. Gone for 11, Albertan saying 325 for 8. 7.14. Zahir Khan has already hit two sixes. It's the last ball. Perfect late delivery to go for a big one. The 
he hasn't connected it. It's going to be out in the deep. And he is caught by Abdul Razak. 